Welcome back to the Spirit of the Derby on Fox 56. You know, Dan, every year it seems that the Kentucky Derby delivers fascinating storylines. You know, I think of 2009, the year actually that you yeah. were crowned Miss Kentucky mm -hmm. USA. Uh, there was a retired school teacher and a principal in his 70s named Tom McCarthy. He claimed this horse, General Quarters, right here at Churchill Downs, a year earlier before bringing him here uh, to run in the Kentucky Derby. He owned and trained General Quarters. I mean, it's one of those stories you just don't forget. Now here's another one. Gunavera coming up on the outside. Oh, he's got him. Gunavera has won the Saratoga Special. This is where Kentucky Derby contender Gunavera was born. Brandywine Farm in Bourbon County. Well, we consider ourselves to be what is referred to as a mom and pop operation. Dr. Pam Robinson formerly was the director of a human physiology research lab at the University of North Carolina. Her husband, Jim, spent 30 years as an electrical engineer for GTE. And we decided to look at farms in Kentucky one November, thinking that someday we would retire and move to Kentucky. They were already breeding thoroughbreds in North Carolina as a hobby. We said, you know, if you're going to do thoroughbreds, you pretty much need to be in Kentucky. So uh, we kind of had the opportunity. We bought this farm and uh, we moved here in 1998. So they both retired to begin an even more demanding career as breeders. It's uh, pretty much a 24 hour, 365 day a year job, really. We are hands on. We. Uh, we do everything that the rest of the crew on the farm does. Every morning, Pam makes the rounds with the veterinarian. <laughs> then Pam calls the stallion farms to book breedings. I'd like to book the mare Royal Parade to Caraconte. And Jim takes the mares to those stallion farms. <laughs> this is a working farm. They are working. They work here. Bob Butler has spent his spring nights on full watch at Brandywine Farm for 12 years now. It's not somebody's tax write-off. They don't have an oil well out behind the barn. <laughs> this is a farm, and you know, this is a living. You know, we eat, sleep, and live this. It's all we do. Uh, don't take vacations. We've been to the Greenbrier once for three days, about 15 years ago. <laughs> but we can't come up with any place we really want to go. So. This is our 24 hours, seven day a week, you know, love. But there has been heartbreak along the way. Well, Gunnavera, when he was born, the mare was 19 years old and she ruptured what would have been a small arterial vessel, uterine vessel, because if it had been a large one, she would have died right there. Uh, we were able to, with drugs and fluid therapy, to, to get that under control. And within three days, why, you know, everything appeared to be quite normal. And in fact, for the next week, why she and, and Gunavera would go out in a paddock every day and romp and play. And all of a sudden, then, this is 10 days after she uh, produced the foal, she dropped dead of a heart attack out in her paddock. I mean, she just, bam, down and gone. Gunavera was left without a mother. People say, well, you know, they're upset, so to speak, that the baby has lost its mother. Well, when they're that young, what they want is a milk source. Foals need milk every hour around the clock. You know, you think about that 24 hours a day for the next four or five months, um, you, you need to get a nurse mare. Enter Jenny, the nurse mare that raised Gunavera. That's right, one of the top contenders in this year's Kentucky Derby had a paint horse as a foster mom. Apparently it was good milk. <laughs> milk sustains a foal similar to how sales sustain small breeders like Brandywine Farm. And when it was time for Gunavera to go, in the back, 16,000. He brought less than expected. Yeah, I was, I, we were disappointed, but that happens a lot. <laughs> Gunavera was bought by Venezuelan trainer Antonio Sano, who was forced to leave his home country after being kidnapped for ransom there twice. So he came to America but had to start over. Now his $16,000 purchase has turned into more than a million dollars in earnings and Sano's first trip to the Kentucky Derby. Gunavera for local trainer Antonio Sano. But this is not the first time the Robinsons have bred a Derby horse. Well, we had one a couple years ago, Danza, who came in third. And that, that was very special. The small breeders, I would say, are the backbone. There's so many, you never know it until we happen to get lucky. Lyra Miller and her husband own Lil's Coffee Place in Paris and Rosecrest Farm. They bred 2013 Derby runner and two-time Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile champ, Golden Sense. 
whenever any of us in Bourbon County have a, a horse that gets to the Derby, oh my gosh. We all know that there are so many lows in the business that when somebody has a high, we all rejoice in it. Gunavera initially represented a low for Brandywine Farm. They lost a mare, and the emotions of that are still there. God, I wish uh, Rage was still here. Gunny's mom, yeah, unbridled Rage. But three years later, Gunavera is giving them a different emotion. Very proud. I mean, that's what it's all about, is to try to produce an athlete. It's surreal. It's kind of hard to believe it's even happening, you know. So big old gunnies running for the money.